Hello, my people. Welcome, welcome back to the news channel. And this is Afri's Concept TV, where you get the latest and the oldest news. This is a news channel that keeps you updated on everything going on in the country. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, make sure to do that now. And if you are a new subscriber, we say welcome to Afri's Concept TV. Sit back and relax because you are going to be getting everything that you are going to need to be updated on the happenings in the country and even outside the country and also if you are a returning subscriber i say welcome back to afri's concept tv and i'm sure you are you keep coming back because you get value from this channel let's go right to the headlines for today nam the Kano will soon be released deputy speaker reveals and my people, yes, yeah, so this is the headlines for today. As we've seen that um, the Deputy Speaker as of the House of, Assem House of Representatives has come out to say that he believes that very soon Unam Dikanu will be released. Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Benjamin Kalu, has expressed optimism that the detained leader of the Indigenous People of Biafra, IPOB, Unam Dikanu, will soon be released. Kalu disclosed that he has visited Kanu several times at the Department of State Security DSS facility. Some lawmakers reportedly led by the member representing Ikuano Umwaya, South and North Federal constituency of Abia on Monday, wrote an open letter to President Bola Hamed Tinubu, appealing for the release of Kanu by invoking Section 174 of the 1999 Constitution as amended and Section 1071 of the Administration of Criminal Justice Act 2015. Speaking on Tuesday, Carlo applauded the lawmakers for throwing their weight behind him on the appeals for Kano's freedom. He stated that this via statement issued in Abuja through his Chief Press Security Secretary, Levinus Nwabu Giogo. According to the Deputy Speaker, there are expectations that the Southeast Caucus will soon will also arise in unison, soon to support the effort. The lawmaker said the release of the IPOB leader was very crucial to the restoration of peace in the zone. He said that a milestone has been recorded in his private engagement with the authorities on achieving a political solution in Kano's case. Kalu said, I want to sincerely express my profound appreciation to my colleagues from all parts of country and different political parties who made up the 50 lawmakers that recently lent their voices for the to the appeal for the release of Mazin Ambikanu. The call signifies oneness of purpose and noble objective that we are one people and what affects one also affects another. I have always emphasized that united we stand, divided we fall. I want to assure them that President Bola Tinubu is interested in the peace and development of the Southeast and giving his genuine love for the zone. And the appeal so far made a political solution is imminent in resolving the case of Masi in Amdikano. The voices of my brothers in the parliament are indeed inspiring, and I cannot thank them and other Nigerians enough for queuing behind me. And yes, this is the news. As the deputy speaker said that there has been a, a 50 membership of the lawmakers that have written an open letter to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu regarding the release of Unamdi Kanu. And he has also stated that very soon, he knows how much President Tinubu loves the zone and he knows that very soon Unamdi Kanu will be released. And yes, my people, that is the news for today. Make sure to like the video, comment, let us know what you think about this news. Let us know your your mind regarding this news that you've just listened to because we are very interested in your feedback and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also click on the notification bell so that youtube will notify you every time that we post up a new content look forward to seeing you again thank you